All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Interoperable City for Telecom, paving the way to seamless cloud native integration. Uh, I'm aware this is about the last talk before the end of the day, so I won't keep you for long. <laughs> And yeah, just uh, two words about myself. Uh, my name is Andrea Frittoli. I, I work for IBM as a developer advocate. I live in Wales, where I left about 20 hours ago, so it's been a long day. <laughs> um, I work with the Continuous Delivery Foundation. Uh, I'm as a part of the leadership there, and I'm the co-founder of a project called CD Events, which I will tell you about a bit more in a moment and also maintainer of Tecton, a CI-CD uh, platform. And this presentation I prepared with a friend and colleague, Fatih, who could not be here today, uh, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to talk about briefly about telco and cloud native, of course, and software delivery in that space. And finally, I will introduce the Continuous Delivery Foundation and CD events. Right, so um, probably you have seen something like this diagram before. So on the left-hand side, we have the silos that we used to have in the past, where vendors are uh, providing specialized hardware and software and basically network capabilities as vertical silos. And so from that, we move to what we have on the right-hand side, where we have industry standard, uh, the ability to use industry standard hardware, in the industry standard platform and orchestration, and on top of those we run uh, whether virtual network functions and now uh, containerized network functions or CNF. And so this um, kind of um, disaggregation of the functions means that we can get much uh, better uh, speed in delivery of services in our network as we have our standard layers and our vendors are providing different components that are running on top. So uh, in terms of uh, delivering this function though, um, what about software delivery? So every vendor will come with its own uh, software delivery platform. And if we look a little bit into it, uh, so we're starting having several functions uh, provided by different vendors, we see that every vendor might come with its own platform. So when we want to uh, do software delivery of this function in our network, so one of the uh, advantages that we get from this aggregation is that we can rely on different vendors and combine different platforms from them. But then we run into this issue that we have uh, uh, when we go into software delivery, then we get an increased complexity because we have to uh, basically cope with the fact that different vendors might be working with different delivery platforms. And if we look at the landscape, there are many different options that are available in the continuous delivery landscape. So this is uh, the continuous delivery landscape from the CD Foundation. And are these options interoperable? Well, let's have a look. So first, um, about the CD Foundation I mentioned before, I just wanted to introduce it. The CD Foundation is a Linux Foundation sub-project, and it's an open source uh, community that aims to improve the world's ability to deliver software with security and speed. Um, and in fact, one of the things that the CD Foundation cares very much is, is about interoperability. So I showed this uh, landscape before, um, so we have the blue boxes in there are projects that are hosted by the Continuous Delivery Foundations, but there are many more tools uh, that are available um, in the ecosystem. The tools from uh, building software, uh, containerizing it, uh, container registries, pipeline orchestrators, and so forth. So part of the mission of the Continuous Delivery Foundation is really to focus on interoperability. So much uh, that we initially created a special interest group about interoperability within the foundation. And we discussed about topic of interoperability between all these tools to make it easier to deliver software. 
And the next step after that was to create a project that we called CD Events. And this project is a common specification for continuous delivery events. So our vision is to have all these tools that are used uh, to build uh, different software components that can be used for containerized network functions, for instance, uh, to uh, orchestrate these builds to deliver the software to production and install it and, and operate it in production. Basically, we want to have all these tools have a common um, data model that allows us them, uh, for them to interoperate and thus reduce risk. CD Events um, is a growing community, so we have a lot of com uh, contributors and adopters, companies, and we are working with different tools communities as well. And yeah, so we are really looking for uh, more uh, contributors and interesting companies that might be interested to contribute to this. So we are now in version 0 0.3, so there is still space to influence um, and this new standard that we are proposing, proposing this uh, specification. And so please come and, come and join us. Uh, if you're interested, there is a QR code that you can scan. And yeah, so if there is one thing that uh, I would like everyone to remember or to take out of this presentation is really the word interoperability. So we really believe in the power of interoperability in the CD space, in, the, uh, in how interoperability can reduce the risk and increase the business outcome when doing software delivery. Right, and that's all I had for today. So thanks for uh, listening to me and coming to this talk. And yeah, enjoy your evening.